warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ladies and gentlemen In this occasion, I will deliver a speech on the war against corruption Nowadays, the war of corruption is already familiar to us Literally, corruption is taking or stealing the right that do not belong to its right by taking advantage secretly for their own personal interest Ladies and gentlemen Currently, corruption has become a culture in our country now. Many people commit to do corruption to entreat them, governor, civil servant, official, and even law enforcement is also doing corruption. Therefore, corruption is supposed to be a common enemy for us because of the presence of corruption. will destroy and mess the morale of our nation, Moreover, it can cause misery for Indonesian people in low class. Ladies and gentlemen, many factors that cause corruption grow rapidly in this country. The first is less of assertive sanction, which is, is reserved by corruptors. The corruptors were charged to get prison for three or four years, even they can be free after spending one year in prison. That is what makes the corruptors are not afraid of doing corruption. Therefore, government should give a heavy punishment for them. We can follow China, which imposes the punishment for the corruptors so that they will afraid of doing corruption. Ladies and gentlemen, the second factor is the lack of control. The lack of transparency in government open a hard opportunity for the perpetrators of corruption. They can freely use our money to enrich themselves even they can make cooperation when another to cover their action by doing corruption together. The third factor is the lack of honesty that is owned by them. They are not afraid to say that they will receive even they are not longer concerned about their religions which clearly prohibits corruption. Ladies and gentlemen, corruption that rooted in this country must be combated. Our country not only needs smart people, but we need people who have honesty and a great personality so that they are afraid of corruption. Therefore, let us educate our children by emphasizing emotional and spiritual intelligence in order not to be corruptors in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the action of fraud with corruption in this country should really be taken seriously. All parties should be involved so that corruption eroded away from our beloved country. As the Indonesian people, we must come together to fight and control the corruption in our country. So that is a speech that I can say at this Time, thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.